All right, so what am I talking about? It's almost the new year and everybody loves trends. New UI design trends if you're a UI designer and that's what gets a lot of people excited and that's why these videos really tend to do so well when I talk about trends. Um, but I would say the large majority of you, my subscribers, I know you all very well, I've been doing this for a long time, need to forget about chasing trends and instead you need to focus on something else. Now, before we get to that something else, let's define our terms. What is a trend? So defined by Google, it is a general direction in which something is developing or changing. All right, so let's give that definition some context within our industry, which is UI UX design. Now, before we begin talking about UI trends and otherwise, if you really want the keys to success as a great UI designer, you really need to check out my UI design bootcamp at Scrimba. At Scrimba, you don't just watch videos. No, no, no. You're actually able to modify code in the browser while you learn. My course on UI design features over 100 lessons that are specifically tailored to help you become an awesome UI designer, and they're packed with interactive challenges. So click the very first link here in the YouTube description to access my course along with many others for a very low monthly fee. So back around uh, the early 2000s or so, up to about 2010, 2011, et cetera, we had what was called the Web 2.0 trend. And this is what I would refer to as a macro trend, simply because there was a lot of aesthetics with it. It was a big, huge push uh, in a certain direction. It was a big trend. And it was characterized by very soft gradients all over the place, uh, rounded edges all over the place, and it just had a certain aesthetic about it. And it was really welcomed from what we were coming from before that, uh, where there really wasn't many standards. Here's another example of a Web 2.0. Again, just notice the, the, the subtle gradients everywhere. And there was a lot of soft sort of gradients applied to things. Uh, these types of diagonal patterns were really uh, prevalent. You could see this very soft gradient. So th this right here, Web 2.0, definite huge trend, but it didn't last. Then afterwards, we saw, you know, uh, really the antithesis of that, and we came um, back to simplicity. Well, I can't really say we came back to it, but that's what uh, flat design was all about. Uh, and it, we still, to a large extent, have this, and we've you know, take, taken from it, and it's a really push in a positive direction in terms of just keeping things simple. If there were shadows, uh, they were very subtle. Uh, right here, another example, material design, for instance, uh, was really one of the, the, the pushers of you know this general macro direct direction. But also for trends, we have what are called, I'm calling micro trends. Like for instance, new morphism. That was all the rage back a year or two ago. Uh, and also, recently, glass morphism. I just did a video about glass morphism probably about uh, a week ago where there was only 82 examples at Dribbble, and now there's 442. And I this be another example of what I would call a trend or even just a micro trend. So why do I say, though, forget trends? Well, it's because most of you are not ready for trends. You have to have a foundation before you can start worrying about and trying to apply trends. So think of it like this, the foundation is the skeleton, whereas trends are the flesh. The foundation is the wood framing where the trends are the drywall, and the foundation is the back end, whereas the trends are the front end. So enough with the analogies, but before trends must come foundation. So what is this foundation of which I'm speaking? Well, it's all the things I talk about so often on this channel, in my live streams, in my regular videos as well. That is an understanding of how to apply UI design fundamentals, visual hierarchy, color and contrast, alignment, or sometimes known as proximity, scale, topography, and white space. All of those things I can name off the top of my head simply because I know them very well, I talk about them, and I know how to apply them. So what happens when you try to apply a trend when you lack understanding in either all of these areas or just some of them? I'm going to show you a couple examples that were submitted on, you know, from my Discord server and 
I let people know if you submit, you're subject, you know, you're subjected to possibly being featured on this channel. So this isn't to disparage anybody, but it's just to show that there are clearly uh, lacking understanding of UI design fundamentals where they've been chasing in some context trends that we've seen uh, throughout time. So just to show you an example here, this would be a great example. This is a very recent example um, because we have the glass UI trend, glass morphism applied here. Um, but really, it just doesn't look that great it, because there's a lack of understanding of these UI design fundamentals. I would say, namely, if we're looking at this section over here, uh, it's just too busy. So simpli simplicity versus complexity could be argued that is a UI design fundamental. Um, we could see it's really just complex over here. There's a lot happening. Uh, and if this individual try to focus on maybe reinforcing their understanding of UI design fundamentals, then they could more appropriately or more effectively integrate something like the glass morphism trend. Another example here, bright gradients were something that we see have seen in the past several years. Um, but what does this suffer from? Well, I would say it suffers from uh, an issue of alignment or proximity and also an issue of scale, which lends itself to an issue of too much white space. And one other example, soft gradients are, are drop shadows, if you will, or glows. That's something that we've seen uh, be used effectively uh, even just recently. Um, but unfortunately, there's no semblance of a layout uh, or, or a visual hierarchy, which is another UI design fundamental. So this is a very short video, but I thought it was very important though to make, uh, because if you're a new designer, you want all the new flashy things. You wanna be able to integrate whatever everybody else is doing. And sometimes some people, and actually almost everybody I would argue, when they're becoming a UI designer, focuses too much on that stuff and doesn't focus on probably what would many people would be considered as the boring stuff, which is the UI design fundamentals. So where would you learn these UI design fundamentals? There are, there are so many places. Of course, I'm going to be biased and going to say my channel. Uh, any of my UI design crash courses, uh, many of my regular videos that you see from week to week, uh, you're gonna find you know, a free resource from which you can learn UI design fundamentals. Also at scrimba.com, I have a free one hour sort of crash course on learning UI design fundamentals within Scrimba's really awesome interactive platform. Um, I also have a whole UI design bootcamp, which is eight over eight hours really uh, with just a lot to, to learn uh, for UI design fundamentals. Of course, I'm not the only person that you can learn this from. There's so many other great resources. I, of course, coming up here in 2021, I'm gonna you know, rehash my, my you know, learning UI design crash course of so, of, so to speak here on YouTube. That's gonna be 100% free. So like I said, focus on establishing that foundation first, and then you can start worrying about you know, the different various trends that come and go. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.